The rejection of liberalism is the denial of liberalist ideas by governments and leaders. It is usually dictators who reject the main principles of liberalism in order to create a communist or fascist state. They transform society to a communist, social, or fascist state in which individual freedom is lost. When liberal ideas such as individual freedom and welfare of citizens are rejected by governments, socialism and fascism rise and a totalitarian dictatorship emerges. There have been many examples throughout history of rejections of liberalism, most notably in the Soviet Revolution, which became a communist government in the 1920s. Soviet communism began in 1912. It was founded by Vladimir Lenin and later carried on in the 1940s by Joseph Stalin. In the 1920s, after Vladimir Lenin's death, Joseph Stalin was able to gain more and more power. He replaced the new economic policy with a highly centralized command economy with five-year plans. This caused a period of rapid industrialization and many people were sent to labor camps and were exiled. Their freedoms were taken away. As time passed, Stalin was able to gain more power and eventually created a communist state with the second largest economy in the world. Joseph Stalin created a society which progressed and emerged as one of the world's strongest nations, both economically and military. This all came with the cost, however, the loss of a capitalist society and the individual's freedom to pursue self-interest and a free market. During Joseph Stalin's reign in the Soviet Union, he created a very strong relationship with Mao in China. Mao and Stalin were very much alike. They both wanted to revolutionize and bring forth change to their country. They both rejected liberalist beliefs and values to achieve this and instead turned to a communist approach. Mao and Stalin emerged as socialist dictators in their countries, despite the progressive change they brought to each of their countries. Many people disagreed and challenged the actions and perspectives they took in order to bring forth this change. In China, Mao Zedong ruled from 1943 to 1946. Many of his beliefs, theories, and strategies were influenced by Marxist ideologies and Lenin's communist society perspectives. Mao was the founder of the People's Republic of China and led the Chinese Revolution. He used violence and terror to overthrow landlords to gain their land and divide it equally in communities. Mao denied the protection of private property and like Stalin, he denied the individual freedom to pursue self-interest. In foreign policy, Mao initially sought to align the People's Republic of China with Joseph Stalin's Soviet Union. This failed, however, and a schism between the two nations began to occur during the 1950s and 1960s following Stalin's death. Heavy influences from Soviet Russia dictated Mao's direction of politics and economics in China, which resulted in great turmoil and grief for the Chinese population. Mao Zedong was a ruthless leader who had an impact on the nation for several decades and was able to destroy any sense.